Welcome to this quick VNAV tutorial for the HondaJet for MSFS. Although I have the working title G3000 mod installed, the developer has told me that it's not actually required for VNAV to work. So whether you have a vanilla or modified aircraft, let's go flying with VNAV. So we planned our flight in the simulator's world map and we've activated nav mode in the plane. Now we go over to our flight plan and we'll tell the plane that we want to be at 32,000 feet before Monty. We also want to be at 2,000 feet at the point we intercept the ILS. So we'll enter 2,000 feet at that waypoint. You can see the aircraft has now calculated a descent path from Monty to our intercept point for the ILS. The climb up to Monty will essentially be an open climb in VNAV mode, but you can add in altitude limits along the way if you wish. On the MFD we can now see a vertical path aiming for 32,000 feet at Monty. In reality we'll arrive at 32,000 before that. So we'll set 32,000 as our desired altitude on the autopilot panel and we'll arm VNAV mode. We'll also set our desired speed at 250 knots. After this you can fill in the initialization pages as shown in my other tutorial and you're good to go. Remember this tutorial is only designed to cover VNAV in addition to the basic tutorial that I've already posted. So phases of flight that don't include VNAV operation will be skipped. As soon as the autopilot is active the plane starts following a vertical path towards 32,000 feet and follows the nav path that's in our plan. At 32,000 the plane levels off, enters altitude hold mode and the time to our top of descent is displayed on the MFD. With the plane in cruise speed hold mode we'll dial in our bottom of descent altitude on the autopilot panel which is 2,000 feet. We can now arm VNAV and the plane will start to descend at the top of descent. At top of descent VNAV mode activates and the plane starts to descend on the vertical path that it's planned. As with any descent we reduce the throttles to about 50-55%. The plane then adjusts its pitch to achieve the desired flight path angle for descent and we achieve a steady VNAV descent with very little vertical deviation. As we get closer to our destination we decelerate, drop the landing gear and apply full flaps for landing. The plane does a good job of holding its desired descent path and we arrive at our bottom of descent with very little vertical deviation. This means we're in the ideal position to grab the localizer and the glide slope and set ourselves up for a nice stable approach towards the airport. A full guide to approach and landing is covered in the basic tutorial. We touch down successfully and this concludes our flight. Thank you for watching, I hope you found this useful. Flying the Honda Jet in VNAV mode is just so much nicer and more realistic than flying in flight level change with the MSFS ATC. If this video was helpful or you enjoyed it, please drop a like and feel free to subscribe as I make this kind of content fairly regularly. Take care and I'll see you next time.